Good morning, Arthur. All good, Abigail? Yeah. Starting to like this place. The boy, too. Good. I'm glad. Everything okay, Miss Grimshaw? Yeah. Finally about done cleaning up after that. Hey, glad to have your yeah. Irish friend back. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one, but I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Folks seem really happy now. Sure. This. What you preparing for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. <laughs> no, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. From which you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Mount up then. Let's go. All right, boy. You know, it was before my time, of course, but my mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. Where the bison went, my people went. And they were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. <laughs> I don't remember much of my childhood, but I think my people, well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> well, my father did that too. Let's try over here to the left. Over there. You see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay. Too. It can all be used. Won't take long, boy. Good job. Throw that on your horse and mount up. I wanna go check something out. Okay, let's go. Where are we going? 
I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. Just wanted to see what attracted them. Someone do that. I don't know. But I see tracks heading in this direction. I say we follow them. Alright. Lead the way. It's already starting to rock. Yeah. It's been shot alright. Been dead a couple of days at least. They've been shot. I just don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. Look, another dead bison. On the hill to the right. Come on. Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. What a damn waste. gone cold yet. Maybe half a day since they left. Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher. See if we spot anything. This way. We should have a good view from up here. Okay. You see anything? Arthur, look. Smoke to the north. Could be another camp. Let's go check it out. Son of a bitch! Bastards. Killing for fun. You think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. It has to be them. Come on, wait up. <laughs> did you fools shoot those bison? What's your problem? I said. Did you fools shoot those bison? Calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. We shot them bison. We'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What we do? Oh, it's that business of mine. Good God, you're crazy. I got a family. A family. Don't shoot me. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers.
What the hell are you doing? Why are you killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. God damn it, tell us or you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could and make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No, please don't kill me. I'm begging you. All right, I'll get out of here. Oh, just don't, don't shoot me, mister. I got a family. Then run away. Why did you do that? He didn't need to die. Maybe he'll go tell his friends now what happens to poachers. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm gonna see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later. Okay, boy. Let's go. Idiot. Back from the wagon, sir. Transporting a fugitive. Hey! Hey, you!
Yes? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A collar for you. Hello, Arthur. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's, um... Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and... You come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Oh, okay. Listen, Arthur, I... I'm... My family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? And you want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... but I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. 
I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. Take a look at this. Look at this, my friend. Tobacco. Nature's gift to us all. Hmm. Focuses the mind like nothing else. Whatever you say. Well, I say, why buy it off the shelves when you can make your own? Well, plenty left here if you're interested. I'd best keep moving. Well, shit. Thanks, I guess. Yeah. 
Why not? Oh, you're a good man. A good man. It's still rolling. <laughs> Discovery of the <laughs> One hundred years ago, the great Chelonian master led pilgrims across the Lanahassee into the wilderness. Gentlemen! Shell of safety. Shell of safety. Shell of safety. Shell of safety. Shell Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I don't know about this nonsense. Let me speak to the boy. Dut dut. Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? Only when dealing with idiots. Now let me talk to the boy. Goddamn lunatic. Stop it, Arthur. <laughs> That's enough, Arthur! Now, kid, come on. This is crap. You're better than this. Better than what? Better than one in paradise? Better than thinking these fools know a damn thing about paradise. Now, let me take you home. You're a sad man, Arthur. You're a real sad man. Sure, but come home. No, not a chance!
Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Just stop and let's talk about this! Just using you! Telling you what you want to hear! What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? Damn it, we gotta do this the hard way! You pop up out of nowhere? Yeah. Come on, Jamie, your sister's worried about you. I was doing just fine by myself. Just hold up a minute. Come on, you ain't stupid. You can see this is crazy. You're the crazy one. Yep. This is none of your damn business. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, mister. What are you gonna do, Jamie? Live the rest of your life in the mountains with those people? All right, easy now. They're my friends! If you don't leave me alone, I'll shoot you! I swear it! What are you talking about? You ain't no killer! Morgan. Leave me alone! Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur! I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore! Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! Now calm down! Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Yeah. Oh. This wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you. Didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtles. 
Shut up. All father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but... All right, go work in an orchard, then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and... Well, ah! Arthur! <laughs> Just talking about something. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. Here we are. Must be waiting inside. We're going in then. Father's been very sad. Father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. Partner? Hold here, boy. Howdy. Hey, mister. I'm real hungry here. All right, boy. Can I get a few cents? 
You out to trouble me? Uh, hey there, partner. Howdy, partner. Hey, You buddy. remind me of a feller I used to know. Uh-huh. I'm too old to get a job, mister. Way too old. Can't we be friends? <sighs> sure. I'm so happy. I ain't had a friend in a long time. Long, long time. My last friend died. Weren't my fault. They said it was, but they was wrong. It's fun being with you, mister. Can I hold you a second, mister? Can I? Okay, just quickly. Amen, sir. That felt good. It's nice to be held sometimes. Oh, we used to hold each other in the war. You got sad eyes, mister. Like you've seen sad things. Remember with kindness. Hey, mister.
I don't mean no harm, okay? Just want to speak to Hernandez. We don't take two visitors up here. Kill this fool! Go Hernandez, you in there? I didn't want trouble, but I'm just here to speak with you about boy. Callaway, put your weapons away. Now come out. I'm unarmed. <laughs> well, <laughs> King Gallo. I just want to talk about Boy Calloway. Sure. Here's your message. 